Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan was founded in 1938 at Mumbai by the great visionary, statesman, philosopher and philanthropist Dr. K. M. Munshi with the blessings of the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, Pandit Chawahar Lal Nehru, Dr. Rajendra Prasad and many others. Bhavan has 119 centers in India and 8 centers abroad. The Bhavan Center for Communication and Management, BCCM, established in 1974, is situated in the eastern coast of Odisha in the capital city of Bhuvaneshwar. It was inaugurated by the former President of India, Sri R. Venkatraman, in January 2003. BCCM offers two years full-time postgraduate diploma in management PGDM program duly approved by All India Council for Technical Education AICTE under HRD Ministry, Government of India. This college was established under the leadership of former Chief Justice of India, late Sri Ranganath Mishra. Eminent personalities like Bharat Ratna, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, former President of India, Dr. Anil Takodkar, Chairman Atomic Energy Commission, Government of India, had visited the institute and addressed the students on various occasions. Sri Pranath Mukherjee, President of India, attended the Convocation 2013 and delivered the convocation address of the institute. He dedicated the public library of the institute, the Ramakrishna Knowledge Center, to the public of Odisha. The institute has large size lecture halls, seminar rooms, counseling rooms, and multi-purpose auditoriums. All are fully air conditioned and equipped with state-of-the-art teaching aids with all modern facilities. The best of technology gives students an edge over others. The institute has modern language lab equipped with latest software packages for English language communication skill training. Computers and high-speed connectivity Wi-Fi system are provided to ensure uninterrupted internet connectivity in the campus. The PGTM curriculum of the institute is designed by renowned academicians and industry experts focusing on industry requirements, spoken English, interpersonal skills, team building, personality development, corporate etiquette, group discussion skills, provide holistic personality development of students. Separate hostel facilities for boys and girls is provided in the college premises that gives comfortable home-like accommodation to students. Placement continues to be a priority for the institute and so far the students of this institute have been employed in reputed corporate houses like tree plantations and participation in Swachh Bharat Abhijan by its students justifies Bhavan's commitment to ensure green and clean environment. While leaving the portals of Bhavan Center for Communication and Management under Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Bhuvaneshwar, the students become winners, challengers, trendsetters, performers, and inspiring leaders. We welcome you all to this center of excellence and be a part of this noble institution. So good evening all and a warm welcome to all of you. Thanks for joining today's webinar, Life's Learning from COVID-19, the fifth in the series of student enrichment programs from BCCM. I am Abhishek Sinha, your moderator and host for the day. After having spent a good time in corporate world, currently I am pursuing my interest in research and entrepreneurship in space of digital marketing. And I take this opportunity to thank the senior management dean and the faculty whose untiring efforts 
has made BCCM today a top management institute in Orissa as well as East, a part of Bharati Vidya Bhavan. BCCM has been ranked third best management college in Orissa in 2019. Today, we have with us a panel of people with varied experiences, a student, a teacher, and two very eminent persons, a senior corporate executive and a retired general, who all would speak on the topic and share their experiences and what it was to have lived the last 60 days. Today, we have with us Major General B.K. Mahapatra, AVSM, a decorated officer, General Basant Kumar Mahapatra served the Indian Army for 40 long years. He took lead roles in four wars, 1961 Goa Liberation, 1962 War with China, 1965 Tank Battle against Pakistan, and 1971 War with Pakistan, which led to capture of large chunks of Pakistani territories. Besides, he has also led several insurgency operations and disaster management activities while in service. An avid learner and teacher with rich experience, General Mahapatra during his service career also <coughs> undertook many teaching assignments in different, different, different defense academies, including the prestigious Defense Services Staff College Wellington, where officials from IAS, IFS, Allied Services, and large number of foreign nationals come for training. General Mahapatra is the president of India's nominee in the Executive Council of Central University of Allahabad and visiting professor in Lucknow, Allahabad and Banaras Hindi University. He is also the chairman of four important DAV schools in Orissa, besides also being the chairman of Bharati Vidya Bhavan Bhubaneswar. General Mahapatra is also a distinguished connoisseur of art, music and Orishian culture and takes active interest in reviving the dying arts of Odisha. We welcome you, sir, to this webinar. Thank you. Next guest for today is Dr. Suvendu Das. Currently, he is the Managing Director of Hitesi Consulting, heading the consulting practice in areas of people strategy, employee relations, organization change. He advises industries in designing strategic programs and interventions for industries in public and private sectors, including companies like Nalco, Sale, Aditya Birla Group, and many more. <coughs> he has held senior positions in large companies and was Vice President HR at Paradi Postfates Limited. With over 36 years of working experience, he has managed HR, industrial relations, learning and development, and CSR functions across different sectors and industries. An alumni of Delhi University and IISWBM Kolkata, he is a certified professional trainer on human behavior and has trained over 30,000 plus corporate managers in India. He is also an empaneled expert resource person for Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Mumbai, and National Productivity Council, New Delhi for various MDPs, an ardent academician by heart. He's also a visiting professor in several leading management institutions like XIMB, Kitt School of Management, and SOA University. Dr. Das has held senior positions in many of the professional associations and councils. He is a sought-after inspiring speaker in many of the professional fora. We welcome you, sir, to this webinar at the PCCM. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Today, we also have with us faculty of BCCM, Professor Sushri Sangeeta. Professor Sushri is faculty of marketing at BCCM and is currently pursuing her doctoral program from Sri Sri University. An electronics engineer and MBA. Professor Sushri has a rich teaching experience with special interests in areas of consumer behavior, service marketing and retail marketing. She also has a corporate experience of two years. <coughs> Welcome, ma'am, to the webinar. Thank you. And last but not the least, we also have with us budding manager and student at BCCM, Ms. Mirangbika, a person with multiple talent. She wants to utilize her stay at BCCM to not only acquire professional knowledge, but also develop her talent and work for better of the betterment of the society. She aspires to get into the HR field and is interested in areas of employee motivation and talent management. Welcome, Mirangbika, to this webinar. Thank you, sir. So the topic life learnings from covid covid 19 has already had and will have severe impact across societies and even 
happens like this may recur again. It's essential that we pick our key learnings from it and be better prepared for tomorrow. Everyone would have his own perspective and learnings from this episode. So what are the key takeaways for each of us? Will there be a new normal for all of us or will we get back to the same usual self, the normal self of ours? Let's hear it out from our panelists. At the end of this session, we will take up questions from the audience. Audience can send in the question through chat and we will put it up before the panel. So first, I would like to ask General Mahapatra sir to address. Sir, last 60 days or so, we have lived a life which is probably would you would have seen, we would have never thought of. We had plenty of time to reflect on things, acquire new knowledge, pursue hobbies and much more. So, so how do you see this entire episode? What are the key takeaways one could pick out from this event? I, your thoughts on this, sir? Thank you, uh, Professor Sinha. It's indeed a great pleasure and privilege to be in this webinar and also with the panelists. So my best of wishes to all the panelists and all the participants who are here. We have been talking about Vasudeva Kutumbakam in our culture. The whole world is one family. Has it ever happened earlier? The answer is no. Is, has it happened now? Well, it has happened now because of a pandemic which has come. The borders have been eliminated. So we are all about 5 million people, billion people who have, who have gone into the lockdown and we have experienced it. All of us are part of history now. 10 years, 20, 30 years, people will not believe that we have gone through. But the mankind, the human beings are adaptive. They have shown agility, flexibility, resilience, adaptability, accommodative nature and creativity during this period. And so many things have happened. All of us are aware and there are other three speakers. I will now just confine myself to three things. How has it affected us, the body, the mind and the soul? First, let us tackle the body. What have we gone through? What have we gone through now? Lockdown, not able to go out, lots of inconvenience. But then at the same time, how many good things have also happened? We'll touch upon later the not so good points. Let us concentrate on the good point, all the points which have affected us and how do we go forward. So body, mind and soul. First and foremost, it has taught us simple living. Simple living. And the simple food, what is available in the market next door to you, you have bought it, you have cooked it. And not only that, well, along with that, we have seen all the family members, including the Bamsa who goes to office, the bread earner, all the top executives, they have all got together to help in the household work. So that is a tremendous thing to happen. I doubt very much it would have happened like this any time. And whatever the pleasure the ladies or the wife or the sisters or the mothers have got, I hope it will continue. That is one of the first lessons. Do not hesitate to take your share of the household work. So along with the body, then what happens? Have, aren't you getting ample sleep? Ample sleep and ample relaxation. So when you have all these things, it's a matter for introspection. And these introspection will give it out. What are the good things that you have done? Or what something you have not done? What desires you had? What ambitions you had? And how you can go about it? So it is the introspection. Three things in the body we first come to health. So that is the first thing which comes in. Well, we have got the opportunity, you may not go out to a gym or football field or other, but ample opportunity in your own place. 
in your flat or wherever you are staying, you can do your physical exercise. And at the same time, most important thing which India has given, that is yoga, pranayam, and meditation. And these are the things which are available to us. And I'm sure most of you, or large number of you, have taken advantage of it. If not, please do so. Then we come uh, to, the, to the mind part of it. The body is relaxing, everything, you have got the thing. Now let's go, talk about mind. In the mind, first thing that you feel is freshness in the air. Less pollution. You can breathe well. You are seeing the birds are coming. They are chirping away. And that is something which was missing. That means the environment has been has got a dose, good dose, and it has become very, very conducive for mankind. So that is a very good lesson to understand, to learn. How, to, how we can defeat pollution. When the lockdown is over, but still we should take means how to control it. Next point comes in. We are seeing the expenses. We are always thinking of luxury items, fashion items, and all those things. Now this is the time to introspect and to understand the difference between need and want. The old cliche is God has created enough for everybody's need, but not even one single man's greed. So this is a big lesson. If we understand this simple thing, difference between want and need, lots of things will change. Your lifestyle will change. Your perception will change. Your attitude will change. Your value system will change. So this is, I would say, a very, very big learning for us. All these parties showing off luxury items, etc., physical position, that will take a backseat. So with all these things you'll find, you'll be spending less. You'll spend in those things which are necessary or important. So that is another takeaway from this by introspection and we will realize this. Next we come to self-development. What a wonderful occasion it has been. The first and foremost look at all the students, colleges, schools. Within two days, virtual classes started. Within two days, the other assignments started. I know about DV schools within two days. And I'm happy to tell you about 85% of students were attending. So also in Bharti Vidya Bhavan. That is a wonderful sign that how students have been motivated and innovation, this innovation has been accepted. And with this one, we get the blending. Now the education will not be only the physical thing, but it will be blended with online learning. So that is again a very, very important uh, important thing we have learned and we should make the best of it. It's a self-development in that you see you'll get bored but look at how many things are there. You can do your reading. You'll say I don't have book. Well go to the net. So many books are there on the net. You can download, you can read it or straight away you can read. Unlimited number and most of them are free of charge. Writing, hobbies, literature, liberal art, painting, music, dancing, you can play Sudoku, crossword, and the important thing, at home if you have got a little patch or you have got a little balcony, then gardening. It's a wonderful hobby and large number of people have adapted it. Next, we come to technology. We talked about the uh, virtual classes, etc. And we have to have the blend, blended education. Blend. That means online and offline. And I'm sure most of the colleges and the institutes, universities are adapting it. Some people may say that we have got bored. Well, your TV is there with you. Look at it. Your Netflix is there. Prime thing is there. Any number of films are available. Whatever you may have missed out, you can see those. 
news, entertainment, things of which will broaden your horizon, all those things are available. And the YouTube which is there, it is a storehouse, tremendous storehouse for not only motivational, spiritual, both things are there. It's a wonderful storehouse. You can spend lots of time. Earlier, you probably didn't have. I must say, I have used this every evening. I'm using it. It's a wonderful experience. And I'm sure I will continue with it. So with this, we come to the next aspect. Online, it, it, it will remain with us. And let us make the best use of it. And it requires a lot of research and uh, planning. Then we come to the family time. You say boredom. Look at the at least your people are there in a family with the brother, sister, husband, wife, and all that. Besides that bonding time, which rarely will come again in your life, just imagine a person from Bombay. It takes about two hours to go to office. And when he reaches office, he's tired. And then again at four o'clock, he's thinking, how will I go back? All those are being eliminated. Of course, we cannot totally eliminate the actual physical thing, whether it is construction, it is manufacturing or office, but it will be a blended one. Next we come with the introspection. Our perspective has changed. In the perspective, the value system, what values we are giving it to people or we are looking at, that is a tremendous change. And in that, I will say, you think what all you have done. If you have done well, your self-esteem will, will enhance, your confidence will be enhanced. Then your relationship with family members, not only your immediate family, on mobile you are able to contact, as well as if you are clever enough, you'll be able to connect. Talk to them not only for information, but chatting. Was it happening earlier? I think this is a tremendous thing to happen. Not only contact, but you can connect with your friends, your colleagues, your seniors, your juniors, and distant relations, whosoever are there. This is a wonderful, wonderful uh, benefit of this. Next, I will touch upon awareness. Certain awareness has come to us. What are those? First and foremost, how important it is to give respect and respect and recognition to the people who are involved in healthcare, doctors, nurses, and others. We had neglected them. We had taken them for granted. Second is police. What a difficult job they are doing. Not only law and order, but managing affairs. They have done a wonderful job and they deserve our great appreciation, not only for lockdown, for all time to come. Next is service providers. Those of you who, whose maid is not coming, those of you the cook is not there, and all those service providers who are safai wala, look at how important they are to your life. Our life is comfortable or easy, thanks to these people. But where are we really giving them that importance? You may have been giving the salary, but what about the respect? What about the concern? That probably was not happening. So that is another very important gain that we have got. Next is consciousness. Consciousness towards the ecosystem, to the global warming, to climate change, environment, love for nature, and also importance of the animals, the cows, the dogs, and birds, they, they are there, they are part of the ecosystem. Ecosystem. So that is another awareness and consciousness which have come. The next point I have got, this was the time for me, I presume for most of you, large number of them, to ask yourself, what is the purpose of my life? What is my purpose? Why am I here? And at the same time, young people who are aspiring for the higher education, Particularly, what do you want to do? What is your passion? What do you like? 
don't go for a career which does not attract you. What is the ultimate aim? You want happiness. The happiness will not come from outside. It will come from within. So this is the time for you to think, to introspect, select your career, all the education, whatever you want, with the philosophy that you want happiness within. And I've learned all the people, whether they are in a work or not, that do what you love and love what you do. That's all for the time being. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. It was uh, really, as usual, always pleasurable to hear your viewpoints. You covered a lot of positive aspects which come out from this uh, episode. Uh, we have given up a lot of things, as uh, General Mahapatra also said, which had become our habits. And homes had become extended office for us, classrooms for us. We enjoyed this peaceful environment. Now, my next question is to Dr. Suvendu, sir. Sir, how do you see this entire event which has unfolded in the last 60 days? What are the key learnings which you can take from this? Sir, sir, if you could, if you could hear me, Suvendu, sir. Okay. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Thank you, Mr. Avisek, for providing this opportunity to be here with this expert panel. And I welcome all the participants from all over the country to this wonderful interactive session. Thank you very much for sparing your valuable time because nowadays time is precious and your time to listen to uh, us, I really appreciate that. I thank uh, Mahapatra for having touched upon most of the points which uh, really we have learned in this life due to this COVID-19 pandemic. But I would like to take you through some specific learnings in different dimensions of our life. If you look out the life learnings of the different dimensions, first of all is our physical, our body, which Mr. Mahapatra already has touched upon that how we have become conscious because the fear of life, the fear of death, that has created a panic among us. And because of that, we have become so disciplined to be confined in our houses. Otherwise, you just look at the Swachh Bharat Avijan, which our prime minister started about three, four years back. What was the outcome? But now, because of this fear psychosis, because of fear of death, you see, the metro trains have been cleaned, all the buses, the trains, streets, anywhere you look at, everything is being cleaned and sanitized. And same thing also applies to our own body. We have started, stopped eating junk foods. We have stopped visiting restaurants. So now, with good foods, homemade foods, healthy foods, and mostly vegetarian, we have become more lean and fit. Coming to the second aspect is the mental aspect. Many people say that what we'll do in this time in uh, COVID-19, we are confined. So people are confused, people are bored. But are you really bored? Does this give an opportunity to look into yourself, dive deep into your own life, on yourself, on your mind, your thoughts? So that gives an opportunity to think slow rather than thinking fast. Earlier in this rat race, we were running, running, running and thinking fast, having no time to breathe even. But now, in this COVID-19 pandemic has given us plenty of time, okay, to listen to our own thing, to look into our own mind, everything. So that is also another aspect, which is the most of the psychological aspect. Third is the emotional aspect. If you see our emotion, if somebody's children is outside and they are stuck up because of the lack of communication, so people are very much worried what will happen. If you have elders at your home, your parents, your elders, your senior citizens at home, you all are concerned what will happen. So this is a time also to bond together with the family. At least I can say that after many, many years, I found time to play carom with my wife. 
so it's a tremendous opportunity to be with yourself i found time to look into back, revive my old hobbies like painting sculpture sketching and all those things so this time has given a tremendous scope to relook into our emotion our emotional intelligence and balance whatever we have ecology is of great importance both the flora and fauna because of lack of traffic because of stoppage of vehicles because of stoppage of industries entire ecology is totally re rejuvenated the birds have come out we can hear the chirping of the birds okay the sky is clear you can see the distant places so it's so nice to be and that when you human beings do not bother about the nature nature is so powerful that it can create such a situation which makes us totally clueless so this has provided a tremendous opportunity to manage our environment in social issues everywhere we are talking of social distancing but is it so i think it is only physical distancing not social distancing because this is a time where you can you are thinking more about the people who are suffering who are uh, in the covid hospitals who are uh, suffering from pain you are talking about your friends your relatives across so nowadays you are thinking about more of the social pains which earlier we are not bothered about coming to the cultural aspect there is a lot of change in our culture people are dying in our houses nobody bothers no there's no congregation only a few people are allowed okay those rituals everything so there is a change in our culture culture of parting culture of boozing cult so there is tremendous changing culture of friendship having parties all those things are going on a lot of changes culture of reviving our old basics like maintaining health hygiene okay so uh, going herbal so there are a lot of things and the last thing is the revitalization of our spiritual being in fact if you really see all of us are on this spiritual being having this body we are not this body so this time has given a lot of opportunity and scope to relook into ourselves so this is a fantastic opportunity for us to realize who we are what we want in life as major mahapatra rightly said to search for our purpose our purpose is not to earn money our purpose is to find a purpose and give back to the society what society has given back money is only a medium so with these inputs i would request all the participants who are listening to me that we from behalf of hitesi consulting we provide lot of help and support for the students to faculties to the corporate executives as to how they can proceed in the success journey of their lives so in case you have any needs which you feel that yes i have such a lacuna in terms of your knowledge in terms of your skill or aptitude or ability whatever it is so there is a link google form given here and i have also given in the chat box so you are requested to please provide your needs and feed forward to us so that we can reach you to help you in achieving success in your life journey for that here is our link in terms of the mobile phone whatsapp telegram email id website facebook linkedin and twitter handles so you can take a screenshot of this and please feel free to be in touch with us so that whatever lessons you have learned in life in case you have been able to diagnose your deficiencies your areas where you feel like you need help in improving yourself please feel free and take a screenshot of this and be in touch and provide your <coughs> feedback thank you thank you dr suvendu sir yes indeed certain things it was actually cultural shock where you could not attend to the cremation of people in such difficult circumstances that was one bad aspect of it and you rightly touched upon lot of things like introspection etc professor sushri that's question for you the next question comes to you 
you have been teaching to the students and <laughs> definitely during last 60 days you must have had lot of interaction with them during the lockdown dealing with their anxieties and concerns so what has been your total overall experiences what have been your learnings out of this or the learnings from this episode professor sushri over to you thank you professor sina esteemed panelists and my dear participants a very good evening to all of you at the outset i would like to thank the management of bhavan center for communication and management for giving me this opportunity to share my experiences and learning from the pandemic covid 19 dear friends covid 19 is a challenge as well as an opportunity for all of us and especially i feel it has a privilege to learn from covid 19 as a teacher my address will center around five dimensions first one physical to digital next skill set of a teacher then student engagement and retention after that online assessment and fifth one is role of parents my first dimension physical to digital deliberation of lecture from physical classroom to classroom everywhere that is physical to digital this pandemic situation has created opportunity to conduct classes through virtual mode in which anyone can attend from anywhere in such we have flexi classrooms thus we are in a era of virtual classrooms aaj we do not know when we will be free from this covid 19 or this may be the new normal but there are lots of complications due to lack of institutional readiness while others have been able to accelerate their digital learning through sophisticated software access to high performing devices and highly trained teachers therefore infrastructure readiness both by the institute and student are highly essential for bringing excellence in digital teaching and learning my second dimension skill set of a teacher before covid 19 we are very much familiar with chalk and duster fight board and marker classroom presentation smart screen presentations and now virtual classrooms now there is a sea change in imparting education to student the present situation of delivery in the online platform requires the faculty to be precise be accurate and easy to understand the student because from my observation the students are now becoming more restless as they have to sit in front of computer laptop tablet or smartphone for a longer period of time coming to the third dimension that is student engagement and retention it deals with the student interaction during and after the classroom session in online teaching session see a difference in the form of energy participation interaction and involvement from both the teacher and student side they have now realized how exhausting it is to be on screen all day long schools and colleges have understood that this is not just remote learning it is learning during the pandemic anxiety uncertainty fear and isolation have become more prevalent checking in with students to make sure that they are coping has become extremely important remote learning has reminded us that powerful learning can only happen when we are engaged energetic and focused here the teacher should pay individual attention to each and every student and help them to move to a new path of emotional well-being and sound mental health the fourth dimension is student assessment this is one of the difficult tasks and challenging part to be done by a teacher and becomes tougher when it comes to online examination and assignments aaj the objective of the examination and assignments is to assess the extent to which the academic objectives stipulated for the subject in the program are achieved my last dimension is role of parents so ever all this period of uncertainty of health economy and social the role of a teacher becomes more important 
not for the student but also for their parents now the parents have to be reassured and also to be taken into confidence that the future of their children are in the safe hands and we are doing our best to build their career and make them ready to face the future challenges while concluding i may say that apart from teaching the teacher has to be a counselor mentor and a friend for a student so as to develop the all round aspects and make him ready for further challenges thank you thank you all thank you professor sushri indeed the world is changing and this has been made faster by covid physical to digital learning and lot of other aspects moving from physical to digital now uh, our last panelist mirambika mirambika you are about to step into the professional world in a year or so so how do you see this event which has unfolded in the last 60 days what are your experiences or learnings from this episode and how do you think this is going to help you in future when you join a corporate or a professional world good evening all uh, thank you abhishek sir uh, before i start i want to take a moment to thank the management and all the enchanting personality sitting over there and giving me opportunity to say something and to be a part of the this panel respected panelists and participant i am excited to share with you my experience in the lockdown and we have to learn some uh, life lesson due to this lockdown over the last two months life has drastically changed the corona outbreak is not just an epidemic it's also a global pandemic people everywhere are being asked to stay home stay away from others in order to reduce the risk of that infection corona has brought with it a wave of negative outcomes terrible illness and death apart from all this negativity it also highlights some life lessons first of all we have learned that taking care of our hygiene is very important whether there is a virus or not we have to be careful every time and the next thing we learned during this crucial period that work and study were also possible to do from home in in this uh, topic i want to share one thing me and my friend also doing our classes sip and exams in uh, online through online and our institute made online arrangements for all, us in very appropriate manner and also made make sure that exam also being held at the right time all these stops are whole new experience for us and uh, it was a very good experience yes it brings some problem for those students who have a bad connection in their community but our faculty are also taking care of that situation and they did uh, some substitute planning for uh, those students they are doing conferencing uh, only audio conferencing call for them uh these new things become much easier for us due to our faculties and nowadays i am sure every people are realizing what is the actual importance of the technology and no doubt uh, it has been difficult to staying at home at all the time may many people complaining that uh, they are getting bored at home uh, but i am also sure in this lockdown some of us are uh, have rediscovered our old habits habits like uh, dancing singing crafting painting uh, these are the thing for those we don't we uh, we have not uh, get sufficient time to do that so these are some things uh, for um, these are some positive take away from this lockdown period personally i am engaging myself with cooking singing which is not possible to do in my college due to lack of time i am also spending my time with watching movies of different uh, genres it gives a lot of motivations and also this made a time engagement for me also this made uh, made me feel love with my family made me spend time with my family but i really miss that wednesday a uh, movie club of my college because 
watching movie with your friends <laughs> is completely different thing that too in our college in our k munsi hall <laughs> the main reason behind we never getting bored in this uh, period because of our faculties they give us a lot of assignment to do which are both <laughs> academic assignment and also some assignment which are related to extra our extra curricular activities uh, like we did a photo collage to spread corona awareness and we also did a video collage through which we said how we spend our quarantine time in a proper manner i personally did four uh, certificated uh, courses online um, so i am utilizing my uh, um, this lockdown period in a very proper manner and i think it will definitely help me in uh, that campus selection very and good. also very in the corporate very apart of all these thing one more thing i would like to add due to this lockdown we are not able to give a farewell to our senior <laughs> as earlier period time of time we got a welcome party from the, from them uh, so we also want to give them a farewell party which is uh, now uh, not possible not now possible but we expect all the colleges will reopen soon by our by our government so that we will give them a farewell party and uh, i would like to conclude my uh, talk with a um, few more lines um, we have learned also that uh, we have to give respect to our frontline warriors we also learned how to appreciate our nature and this lockdown and social distancing has a great impact on decreasing pollution in many ways so thank you so much thank you very good thank you miram mirambika it was excellent to hear excellent. very good you have very learned about multitasking use of technology for productivity <laughs> working with the limited resources which you had at your disposal and remember these are some of the very important things <laughs> you have to face in your corporate world excellent so next moving on now this event had the potential to change our attitude <clears throat> to become more compassionate and caring to be more environment conscious as all our panelists have told to be resilient to be flexible and much more this one is for you general mahapatra sir like how do we inculcate the spirit of compassion empathy and joy of giving which comes from the experiences which we have got in last 60 days or so sir <coughs> thank you professor sena it's a very good interesting uh, point but ultimately how do we implement it Yes. the pudding is there where if you can eat it so that is the thing so we are talking about uh, implementation of these and this is one is the family now let us concentrate on the college or educational institution i must confess when i had discussion with the teachers and uh, supervisors in the college as well as the uh, four dv school i said how much of the time out of the four cues that we talk about one is the iq which is the intelligent quotient one is eq which is the emotional quotient the third one is sq that is social and spiritual quotient and the fourth one is adversity quotient so i asked them that how much time are you spending on the iq vis-a-vis the other three I said, please give me a correct, I mean, an absolutely correct answer. Don't. What do you feel? I will. I am happy to tell you that they all confessed that about ninety percent of our time, eighty-five to ninety percent of our time, we are devoting to IQ, IQ, IQ only. That is why the mad rush is there. The rote learning is there. and the questions 99% marks and 100% marks and, and and like that this is going on so the complete emphasis in schools and colleges at present is on iq 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 now that needs to be changed the next aspect which is emotional quotient that means it is self development that is the self development personality character all the thing which is involved to make a person a good human being now that can only happen if you give adequate opportunities 
in the school centers. And it, it, if you have a syllabus, if you have a timetable, where they are busy from morning till evening, and there is no spare time or dedicated time or period, or in the in the syllabus you have not catered for, how will you impart? So first and foremost, to my mind, so at least 60% is the maximum one should devote towards IQ. And the other, at least 20%, 20% should go to EQ, and another 15% should go to SQ, like that. So the college and schools have to cater for these, and they have to create events where the EQ, emotional quotient, or emotional intelligence people talk about, so that thing can be practiced. Next, we come to social and uh, social uh, uh, quotient. The social comes uh, meaning contact with other people, your family members, your colleagues, your networking, your seniors, your teachers. Now, this is an opportunity for the student to be in, to be in contact with the teachers. And the teachers act as the mentors, as the mentor. So that sort of environment has to be created where the students and the teachers and the other people, they, they are able to spend time together. And the learning doesn't have to be only by uh, patho, 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 that means classroom, lectures, lectures. The learning can be from various agencies. First and foremost is learning through, through entertainment. Uh, Nirambika, Nirambika mentioned about film club, but that is in Bhavan, one of our system of learning. Every week there is a film. There is a film show and the students do it and it is given out what is it about and then you see the thing, then you discuss what are the learning lessons, what are the leadership qualities and so many other things you can learn. So different medium has to be done. Second is learning through social service. Like the teacher, like the students and teachers in Bhavan, they go to orphanage, they go to old age home, they go to disabled children's home. They, they, they link up with Swar, the Swamiban, which is a nobody issue, to see the society, to see the different type of people uh, who are there. So these are important things, provided the college makes it possible. Then we talk about spiritual. I wonder whether you people, others are aware or not. Our first thing lecture when we start a course, the first lecture period is meditation. Meditation is the first lecture, followed by yoga, pranayama, art of living. And a yoga is a complete part of the syllabus. Periods have been catered. Every week period is there. And it is a credit course. It's a credit course. The students crib, but after they have gone, they come back. It's a third God, sir. We were creeping at that time, but now we are so happy that uh, 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 we have learned what benefit we have. Got. So that is sort of a thing has to be provided. So that is I'm talking about the spirituality and the meditation part of it. Luckily, in the hostel, there is a you saw it in the no probably in the film it was not there. There is a meditation hall where anybody can go. And I'm glad to tell you the students on their own, they go, lie down and do the meditation. I don't know if they do something, sleep there or not, I don't know. But I hope they do the meditation. So that has to be created. It has to be part of the thing. Part of the thing. So unless we cater for it, and the people have to go out, such a Bharat, we are linked up with the blind students, blind students with intact, we think tank, so many other things, give them the value, give them the opportunity, rather than completely focusing on IQ, IQ, IQ. Adversity question is another thing which we have learned from this COVID. Adversity, how to tackle it? I must say, the whole of India, whole of India as a nation, we have risen to the occasion and we have displayed our agility, our flexibility, our resilience our adaptability, our accommodative things, and our creativity. We have been able to handle it. We can do it, and we must cater it as part of, of our curriculum. So that is the important thing. You can have this thing, provided you cater for it. Thank you.
Thank you, sir. Indeed, very rightly said, we need to move from bookish knowledge to giving opportunities and creating events so that the students, current students can interact with different strata of society, underprivileged people, help them out, share and see the reality and share and help them. So that is what I think will help inculcate the spirit of compassion, empathy and joy of living. Very right, truly said, sir. It is, this is, this is for Dr. Suvindu Das. You have been into HR field for so many years. And today we have with us a lot of young students, budding managers who will be stepping into the professional world soon. And of course we have faculty who are the stepping stones in this entire process. So sir, what life learnings from COVID you feel to be relevant to the students who are aspiring to join the corporate world and the faculty as well, who will play the role of the trainer. Yeah, Sir. Very interesting question, uh, Mr. Abhishek. You see, this COVID-19 pandemic has provided a tremendous opportunity for each of us, even if the students or the faculties, whosoever it may be, uh -huh. even the people from the corporate world, that what exactly they are looking for. Because if you have seen, our uh, wants have reduced. I, I, I was talking to many of the corporate friends and uh, uh, persons who said that during this period, their salaries and wages have been reduced by even 25 to 30 percent. And in spite of that, they could make a lot of savings also. So these opportunities provide a lot of uh, food for thoughts as to what exactly we want in life. And for that, the very purpose of our life is whether, for, special for the students, right? You see, whether I want to be an employee or I want to be an employer or I want to be something else apart from the corporate world. That is the first question. Again, coming to the corporate world, this is a very good opportunity as to find out to what extent I am fitting to the shoes of the corporate requirements. What are my SWAT? Have I done an analysis of myself during this time? What are my strengths? What are my weak areas where I can improve upon? What are the opportunities I can find post COVID-19? And also what are the threats I have if I do not change myself? So this is an excellent opportunity for me to introspect and analyze myself. Third thing is post COVID-19, there are many persons organizations where they'll find that maybe I do not need so many people. I can afford my people to work from home. I can reduce my travel cost. I can reduce my overhead cost. So there will be a lot of efforts to adapt the digital technology. Okay. <coughs> adapt the artificial intelligence, the machine learning, the big data analytics. So all those things are going to come fast. I was hearing about this digital technology, video conferencing, uh, digital platform. So coming to my experience, while I was thinking and preparing, I was not expecting that it will come so suddenly. You see, from March, April onwards, there are flooded, uh, the country is flooded with webinars. People are going for webinars, learning, but all these training aspects, especially for the faculties, as somebody was asking whether the classroom teaching was better, I was going to the chat box, whether the classroom teaching was better or offline better. You see, all these online things can provide you knowledge. But the classroom teaching provides you different other skills than knowledge because that imparts you the ability to understand, the ability to uh, interact with people, you develop your emotional intelligence, Okay. And also ultimately, how you deal with people, how you bond as a team, how you develop your subordinates. So all those relationship management also is there in the classroom teachings. Post COVID-19 will also give an opportunity for the students and the faculties. Are we future ready? Because the kind of things, what is likely to come, are we ready for that? And for that, do we know what are the corporate requirements in times to come? Because in times to come, 
there may be a lot of opportunities to work from home other than the manufacturing in or services industry there will be lot of virtual teams there will be need for lot of emotional uh, support system because many people when they do not see each other physically and they start working from home they will be getting confused that whether i am in home or i am in office so those kind of psychological aspects will come so there in future role of human resources in managing people is going to be very important many people think that hr will lose their job i would say no rather i would say hr is going to play a very pivotal role because in spite of changes in technology in spite of changes in uh, artificial intelligence in the way we work the systems will change but there are certain constants like leadership team building okay problem solving critical thinking right managing people your life skills so all those things are required and especially i would suggest students that they should develop and have it during this time from meditation yoga pranayam and all that how to enhance their focus because nowadays with this internet webinars google and all these things we are dissipating our energy so nowadays knowledge is power but i would redefine it that knowledge is not power or information is not power nowadays focus is more power so that's what because with this work from home culture we need to also corporates are going to relook into their performance management system their recruitment system okay their uh, payment of incentives increment rewards and recognition system so there are going to a lot of changes and for this we need to be future ready and there the faculties can play a great role that how they can interact with industry <coughs> visualize the future and impart these skills to the student so that they can be corporate ready thank you thank you dr suvendu sir yes very rightly said there has been a paradigm shift after this episode and employees or budding managers need to have adaptability to change as per the circumstances this may not be one of instance we can face certain these like things like this later on as well now coming to professor sushri as a teacher what is has been the most precious learning experience from this covid 19 as sir a students means everything for a teacher at any point of time of the day i am able to interact with my students wherever they are maybe in remote tribal rural area or in international global place through audio and video platform that is live which was earlier not possible that's my learning that gives me lot of happiness thank you yeah uh, really i mean uh, teachers were the ones who were dealing with lot of anxieties concerns of the students talking to parents during this period <coughs> yeah, working as counselor this one is for you mirambika mirambika we hear that you have lot of interest in dancing and uh, singing and as you already said that you had a lot of things to do during this last 60 days helping your mom having online classes attending to exams project submissions and more and more and more things so how did you do pursue your interest do you think that the schedule which bccm follows or your exposure to bccm has helped you cope up with this situation did it help you build certain coping up mechanisms or stress mechanism well uh, it's not only me uh, all of us uh, never thought before that the year 2020 uh, in in uh, particularly in this year the world will go through a situation where everyone must have a must have to stay at home not to go outside and uh, i also never uh, thought that i will get uh, much more time to spend with my family uh, in the busy schedule of my college classes um, all these things uh, i have to do many work simultaneously uh, nowadays uh, like uh, helping my mother and uh, doing my online classes um exams then uh, sips also uh, sips classes uh, 
and i also did uh, no, two or three um, uh, uh, online certificated courses i also give my attention towards that so um, i have done a time schedule for uh, me and uh, i divided my time for uh, my mother and then uh, uh, doing my online classes etc etc whatever uh, it is um, it is possible only due to the time schedule the routine of our bhavan i learned one thing from bhavan how to make yourself busy and how to make your time and utilize your time in a proper manner it is only because of our college our college schedule our classes and uh, our uh, faculty advices um, these all things are uh, make me feel uh, very helpful uh, to utilize my time in this lockdown period thank you thank you very much yes i mean planning and proper utilization of time is what is most important now we it was an interesting session while we had to close at 6 but it's 605 but with still we will we are open for audience uh, questions we already have some questions from the audience uh one question is from pravat panda and it's uh, directed towards dr suvendu sir he wants to uh, uh, dr suvendu sir to answer to this he says the pandemic has opened the flood gate of online digital learning and interaction but whether people have become aware also about the technical challenges as well as the risks of online world to prepare them to utilize it effectively and safely uh yes thank you prabhat uh, for asking such a uh, very apt question what i would say that yes there is a flood gate of digital technology it is going to stay and there have been lot of issues of security of your private information privacy data uh, uh, hacking and all those things for which even this zoom application which you are using right now also it was uh, it has been under scanner also so now gradually there are many people who are switching over to cisco webex or microsoft team or uh, google meeting those kind of a uh, software and an indian software also is being developed where up to 50 participants also uh, can be accommodated so while uh, le- uh, with this kind of threats also but we also need to acclimatize and adapt to the changing uh, digital requirements and also at the same time learn the ability to manage this technology while keeping ourselves safe and for that all this cyber security and all these laws and uh, efforts by different uh, cyber experts are also coming into picture coming to the individual as to how we can manage okay with this flood of digital technology live example is major mahapatra out the chairman of bharat vidya bhavan you see at such a young age of uh, uh, so many years of experience he has adapted to this digital technology and he is there with this webinar okay there are plenty of webinars taking place i can tell you initially it was people felt that oh lovely we are webinar 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 but now people are fed up because i have got lot of information from my colleagues the from different corners of the society there are so many webinars going on people are confused that what to attend what not to attend what to grab what not to so you have to make a choice as an individual that what are your needs what are your areas for development which kind of knowledge you are lacking in so it is your own swot analysis your own diagnosis of your areas where you need develop and accordingly you can search where you can find out and on that our organization hitesi consulting is going to launch lot of online modules and courses and that's okay. why we want what are your needs there is a link i have provided it in the chat box please go to it and provide your inputs and we can definitely be there to help you how to cope up with this digital technology and acquire the right knowledge skills attitudes 
and abilities so that you are future ready for the corporates. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Suvendu, sir. Uh, due to paucity of time, uh, there is uh, another question from uh, one of the audience members. And it is as about things as to what kind of coping mechanism we need to have to manage stress. Like what all things we need to do to manage stress. Last 60 days has been stressful for all of us. And what all things we should be doing regularly to manage it. This is for you, General Mahapatra, sir. What, what, do, uh, what are your thoughts? How do we manage this stress? How, what kind of coping mechanism should everyone develop? Thank you. My take on this is like this. Stress. When you have stress, your breathing system is changing. Changes. When you are happy, there is a breathing system. If you are able to control or manage your breathing, then a lot of stress will go away. When we talk about meditation, or sorry, when we are talking about the pranayam, so pranayam is a breathing exercise. And the main focus is how to control the breathing, thereby it will act as a de-stressing. So also meditation. Meditation is a very powerful uh, mode and it has been proved all over. Let's say 20, 30 years back, the world did not recognize that it has. But now, or wherever you go, I've been recently to Europe and Norway, Sweden, other places. I was surprised. The art of living is there. Yoga centers are there. All those are there. They have understood. So yoga, pranayama, and meditation is one aspect. The second aspect is de-stressing. How will de-stressing take place? Your hobbies, your passion, your other things, activities, where it is not oh, focused no. only, to, only no, to that no. much, but you go and do those things. So reading, reading, and like that, there will be many other things that you can do. The whole focus has to de-stress. And my recommendation that you have had a lovely occasion where you have learned the yoga, prana, and meditation, don't waste your thing. If you get stressed, sit down fully, take long breaths, and meditate. That is what I would suggest. Thank you. Thank you, General Mahapatra, sir. Yes, indeed, there are a lot of Indian values, systems, or processes which helps us uh, deal with this stress. It was really wonderful to have heard the views and experiences of all the panelists here. It was indeed a difficult situation for all of us and it has also brought out the best in all of us, made us think differently, made us try new things, become more conscious citizens, understand that even human race is so vulnerable. As all panelists shared, there has been a lot of life learning from this entire episode, like time to do introspection, family bonding, community bonding, lot of things, lot of things which we need to build into our system, inculcate it and be better persons and make a better world. We can improve, grow, the bet grow to be better human beings, be a better society. Surely everyone would have their own individual experiences and learning. Let us try to reflect on those and try to make this world a better place. Now, I will sign off with a special thanks again to our all panelists and audience. Thank you and look forward to meeting to you again in the sixth student enrichment program from BCCM. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. It was Thank a great you. pleasure to be here. All the best. All the best.